CMRL's vision is to bring buildings, people, activities and public transit together as part of their projects. With that in mind, CMRL has unveiled an innovative plan to develop properties around metro stations, particularly one in Thirumangalam. This is part of Corridor 5 or the Red Line from Madhavaram in the north to Sholinganallur in the south. Here is the line map of both phases of the metro development. Within this grand scheme, we are zooming into the red line, starting from Madhavaram on to Venugopal Nagar, Asis Nagar, Manjambakam, Bail Murugan Nagar, Madhavaram Bus Terminus, Reiteri Junction, Villivakam, Anna Nagar Depot and on to Tirumangalam. By now, you may be puzzled the same way I was before making this episode. Tirumangalam already has an underground station as part of the green line. Further, check out the station plan for the red line, specifically number 15 that states that the Tirumangalam station will be an elevated one and have no interchange. This means Tirumangalam area will have two stations, one underground and another elevated without any form of connectivity as you can see in this image. The elevated Tirumangalam station is not complete yet. So I've tried illustrating it with my minimal graphic abilities. Imagine this to be the stretch of the Grand Northern Trunk Highway in Tirumangala. The elevated structure will be constructed 15 meters above the ground. While in the normal case you would see a train running above, here is the twist. CMRL will build a 12-story building. This will come over a 450 meter long plot near Thirumangalam flyover which previously had three houses and got acquired by CMRL. The fourth floor of the building will house an elevated station and a platform like you see in an example here. The trains will run into this station 15 meters above. Passengers getting into or out of the train and exit out of the fourth floor in similar fashion. I'll come back in a minute on where such an infra is already functioning. CMRL wants to construct either a mall, office space or retail outlet and integrate these facilities with the station using walkways or skywalks. Now why is CMRL doing all this? Apparently the operational cost of metros and repaying of loans cannot be met with just ticketing revenue even if the trains run full all the time. Putting up ads, allowing retail outlets in stations, developing and renting properties like these are the only way to hence generate more revenue and break even. As promised before, let me talk about the visual you saw earlier. This was from Chongqing city in China, a 19-storey apartment complex that features a metro station on its 6th floor. However, China built such a station in 2004 not for commercial gains. Chongqing is a mountain city. And with about 49 million of population, it is extremely urban dense as well. Hence using light rails, which are the quietest and a combination of apartment stations was their creative idea to solve the problem in hand. There is one other example here in India itself, in Nagpur city. A 15-storey star hotel is in progress above the zero-mile metro station in Nagpur. If you enjoyed this upcoming Tirumangalam station and my episode, do like and share further. Subscribe to my channel Mr. Madras for future episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.